You are very lucky, you two. I've never had what you'd call a best friend. I've had acquaintances, many, but never anyone, you know, best. And I suppose that's because I always had Trevor. God rest his soul. But of course he was my brother, so that didn't really count. And I mean, I've always been very close with Nessa. I know she's got my back, but that's as far as it goes. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> you alright, Dad? Huh? Yeah, yeah, come on, give us a hand, will ya? <laughs> I said we should have got a new photo done and been honesty, warts and all. But what do I know? Where are we going? Ladies' toilets. What? So, are you going to keep it? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I am, as it goes. I thought about it long and hard, no words of a lie. But then I watched Vera Drake twice, and I thought, no, I can't be doing with all that. Well, in that case, you have got to tell him. She's right, Ness. But I don't want him involved. That is not up to you, my love. There's two of you in this. Oh, my Pete, are you all right? Seth's gone. I know. Who's Seth? The black fellow. They met on the internet. They were going to have a three-way, but he didn't want to. He changed his mind. And Ness is pregnant. What? And Ness is the father. father. I'll be your best mate. Will you? I sure as shit ain't got one anymore, have I? Come on, Smithy. You're a young man. You've got your whole life ahead of you. You don't want to be tied down to an old fogey like me. You're not old, Bryn. <laughs> are you? How old are you? That, young man, is a gentleman's prerogative. And anyway, it's not how old you are. It is how you are old. <laughs> you are so funny, Bryn. You know that? You crack me up every time. <laughs> not like him, the useless sack of shit. Hey, now. Come on. You're crossing the line there, son. He's in love. And there's nothing you can do about it. I love you, Bryn Law. I do. Let's meet up every weekend in Swindon, just me and you. Really? Yes! All right. You're on. <laughs> do you want some of Gwen's lasagna? Bring it on! All right, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, you've got to tell him tonight. You've got to tell him now. I know. I can't believe it. How long have you known about this? About three weeks. What, you've known for three weeks? You didn't think to tell me? I tried. Not that hard. Don't argue, my love. It's not worth it. I love you, Tony. Yeah, you know when we were away and I said I had something to tell you? Yeah. And I told you about Nessa being in the original lineup of All Saints, but she had to leave because she didn't get on with Chasney. I was trying to tell you then. What, so you made all that up? No. no. That was true. It was a power struggle. Look, none of this matters who told you when and what have you. What matters is the only person who hasn't been told is the only person who should have been told, and he sat out there. Who? Bryn? No. no! Smithy. I come to Wales, you can come up here. I go to church with you. We just hang out. You know, like best mates do. Do you think Mick will mind if I finish his last slice of pizza? So what if he does? I'll back you up, cos that's what best mates do. Oh, Smithy. I got something to tell you. What? I'm pregnant. And you're the father. Who wants a topper? Not for me, thank you, Pam. I'm mm -hmm. drinking as much as I can, because come New Year's Day, we're doing dry January, aren't we, Mick? I'm looking forward to it. Veganuary, I'm doing. No meat or animal produce for a whole month. I can do that. What's the one you do, Ness? Janu-hairy. Janu-hairy? In the name of feminism, Mick, I don't shave a single hair on my body till the 1st of Feb. Last year, just by the 19th, I'd grown a full goatee. She looked like Craig David. <laughs> anyway, can we all just take a moment to say thanks to Bryn? Yes. Because that meal was incredible. <laughs> So, to the chef, to the it's chef. to Bryn. To the chef, chef. to Bryn, to the chef. Bryn, Bryn. Bryn. I'll tell you what I want to see this guy take on. Bryn Lahr, oh chef extraordinaire. <laughs> I want to see this guy tackle a curry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. A Brindaloo. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Brindaloo! <laughs> I know, I know. A Brindia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't, we don't get Brindia gesture. Yeah. 
Something and chips. <laughs> what? <laughs> That'll be Sonia. Stay there, I'll get it, I'll get it. Sure. Wait, you wait. Okay. You okay, mate? Yeah. Oh, you must be Sonia. Hiya. My name is Bryn. It means hill in Welsh. She is. Hey, baby. Baby. Oh, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Oh, how was the journey? I imagine the roads were relatively clear. Yeah, yeah, I've never been to Wales before. It was weird. The, the road signs are all in English and then just like a jumble of letters. <laughs> but Barry with a Y and Barry with a Nye. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce you to everyone. Neil is playing in the garden. We'll meet him in due course, time permitting, obviously. Uh, this is my best friend and my confidant, Gavin Ooh. Shipman. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hello, Gavin. His, his adorable wife, Stacey. Hiya. Hi. Her beautiful mother, Gwendolyn, Gwyneth. Just call I mean, me Gwen. Just call, just, Hello, Gwen. Simple Gwen. Bryn, you, of course, met at the entrance of the property who just cooked us the most sensational Christmas luncheon. Hello again. Welcome. It really was. Exquisite. His nephew, Jason. Jason is a proud member of the LGBTQIA community, uh, currently residing in España. Ooh. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, the legend that is Michael Shipman and his one-of-a-kind wife, Pamela, who, as I've said on many an occasion, have been like uh, mama and papa to myself. Hello, darling. Hello, Hello. And that is this. This is, this is Vanessa, who is Neil's mother, with whom I, as you know, co-parent. All right, what's occurring? Sorry, what's occurring? I don't think anything's occurring, is can it? I, can I fix you a drink or anything, an aperitif? Uh, no, I, I do need to use the bathroom. And um, can I see where we're sleeping, Neil? <laughs> Yes, I'm a silly goose. <laughs> Forgive me as we step away from the table. The staircase here to the left will lead you to the upper floor of the house. We'll be back shortly to continue the, the fun and the merriment. Oh, my Christ. What happened to his voice? Don't ask me. I've never seen him like it that It was before. like he was in court. It's very strange. Uh, it was on his best behaviour, that's for sure. Look, I wasn't going to say this, um, but Big Fat Sue, she told me that Dino told her that Smithy is thinking of proposing. What? Mm. Uh, hey, now, come on, uh, let's just gossip. No, 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 it's not fair, let's just... I'm just saying, that's all. Right, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm ready for some of those Christmas puddings. Yes. Oh, yes. absolutely. If you give them to me, Bryn, I'll go across the road and start warming them up. They're already over there. No, love, I haven't got them. Well, neither have I. <laughs> you are joking. To me, a flavour. So, has anyone got them? Are you telling me we've left nine Christmas puddings in the dolphin? And the brandy butter? I'm not being funny, Stacey, but you want to get a life. What you said just now was really boring. I mean, I can jabber with the best of them, but that, I switched off at the end of banana. Sorry. You want to get out the house? I know. Why don't you come fencing with me tomorrow? Because you know Pat... Fat no more Pat. Fat no more Pat. Well, she can't come because she's having her staples out. You could make up the numbers. Oh, I'd love to, but we're going Barry, aren't we? Oh, God, the scan. What's the latest with Smithy and Lucy? Well, last we heard, he was going to meet her after guides and try and win her back. But we've not heard a peep from him since. Oh, God. Hi, Ines. All right, Stace, what's occurring? Oh, nothing much. I'm a bit bored, to be honest. What's this I heard about a brunch? Oh, it was lush. Right, I had a banana, but I was still hungry. So I ended up having some cereal and a yoghurt. Bear with me, Stace. Oh. 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 For that period, and I'll sling your or I'll break your face. Stace, I gotta go. It's May end down here. But hang on. Right, that's gotta get to Guildford by first thing tomorrow, okay? okay.
Hello, Gavin speaking. Yeah, don't worry, Joel's gonna FedEx it so it gets there by first thing tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, can I call you back? Cheers. What are you doing here? Let's go and get a coffee. Do you know what she said? She said she was relieved. Relieved I'm fathering someone else's child. Do you know why, don't you? Why? Because it turns out that the past three months she's been seeing someone else. Oh. You know that Craig? The one who washed my car on Bobby Chubwee? With, With the, the acne. acne, yeah. Started running the tuck shop together, didn't they? Youth club. I knew something was going on. She started coming home with shrimps, cola bottles, Astro belts. Guilt sweets, they were, Gav. Guilt sweets. But with all them activities and seeing you, I mean, how'd she fit it all in? Oh, she's been fitting it all in, all right. Apparently, she's got more in common with him. You fit her or something. I said to her, I'll go you fit her. Do you know what she said? What? The calf's 22. He's 21, Gav. How does that make me feel? I've been thinking about ending it all, to be honest. Suicide. What? Big time. How many Nurofen would I need to finish me off? You? You'd need hundreds. <sighs> I can't afford that, can I? Not if I'm going to have an holiday this year. You all right? What's up? Nothing. What is it? I'm fine. I think me and Stacey have split up. What? Shut up. Yeah, she did it today. Oh, mate, why? I don't know. She gave me loads of reasons. Just thinks she don't want me anymore. Oh, come on. No, seriously, I've never seen her like that before. What a day. I'm sorry, mate. I know I should be here for you more, but I'm just not with it, you know? Listen, everything you've done for me, and if she's serious, if she means it, which I don't think she does, then she's a fool. Because there's no one else I'd rather wake up next to than you. No one I'd want to look after me, hold me, cook for me, keep me warm at night. <laughs> no, let me say it. I love you, Gavla. I do. There. It's out there, I've said it. In fact, forget it. I don't love you, Gavla. I love you, Gavin. I don't like it when you call me Gavin. I know you don't. That's why I can never replace her. Besides, you've got to get back with her, cos her best mate is just about to have my baby, and if you're not around, it's going to be a bloody nightmare. Where is oh, she? Where's Mama? Yeah. Hi, Estes. Pam, me. I'm on the gas, I am. It's messing me in my head, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh. Oh my God, how are you feeling? Oh! Oh shit, a brick! Ooh. Nurse! Nurse! Right, Mick. We need hot water, flannels. Sam, calm down. We're in a hospital. Oh. Everything's under control. Dave, I need you. I need you now. Oh my Christ! That's the gas talking, Dave. No, it's not. Come on, climb on. That was not the time left. Oh, it really is. Only one person in with at a time. So where's the father? Uh, he's on his way. Right. So who would you like to stay with you? I want Stace. Really? Right. Right, let's Come go, on. Let's all go. Please don't go. Right, I'm just going to check you, see how far you've gone. Knock yourself out, love. How'd it go with Gav, all right? I think it's over, Ness. You'd be a fool to let that one go. He's cracking, even if he is a bit short. Right, I think we're ready. What? Well, let's get you changed and go and have this baby, shall we? Dad? What? They've just taken her down now. What? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It means she's ready to have the baby. She's going down to have the baby. Well, tell her to wait. We'll just come over the bridge now. We're about half hour. I'm going as quick as I can. Shit, I ain't got any money for the bridge. Neither have I. I. 
What you got? I don't know, not a lot. I've got exactly three quid. Well, I've got two. We're ten pence down. Well, that's off that, surely. Did you find him? Is he dead? Yeah, he's fine. He's just on the phone to Lucy. Over, Pam. Panic over. Oh, thank you, Jesus, Holy Son of God. What are you doing? You're not Catholic. Well, it's just what you do, isn't it, in times of crisis, like Brenda Fricker used to do on Casualty. You're not Catholic. That's a Catholic thing. Is it? You sure? Yeah. Well, I never knew that. I'll leave the door on the latch, Smithy. Well, did you find him driving range? Yes, and I'd never been to one before, Pam. Golf-wise, I have lived a very sheltered life. I'm going to make a cup of tea. Anyone else want one? Uh, yes, oh, please. Do you have any two sugars? Genuine. I'm going to have a brandy. Take the edge off. Oh, me too. Good idea. Guess what? Mum said Nessa can move into my room. And when we visit, we've got to sleep on an airbed. That's all right, isn't it? What? You're not bothered? Well, we stay at Brent's, can't we? But it's my bedroom, Gav. Do you think it's out of order? Not really, no. This is your home now, babe. With me. Yeah, I guess. Come on, Smithy's back. Did you get through to Lucy? No, she's still at the Gymkhana. I thought she was grounded. It doesn't apply to horse-based events. Right. Vanessa, will you... Oh, get out of your stage. What are you playing at? What do you mean? You said I had to do the right thing. Well, he didn't mean propose. But you said it was easier because you and Pam was married and you said I should do the right thing. I don't want to marry that. I don't want to marry you. I just said no. <laughs> yeah, right, of course you would. Oh, don't diss me in front of people. I just said no. Why? I'm a catch. Yes. I'm a hoot, aren't I, Pam? Well, yes, but you're not everyone's cup of tea, darling. Yeah, but... Beggars can't have a choice. Choosers. I mean, have you looked in the mirror recently? You look like you should be in Amsterdam doing tricks with Mars bars. Oh, thanks, Stace. Thanks a lot. That was over ten years ago. What? I... Eh? I said forget it. And I'll have you know, there's many an Englishman proposed to me and only one I've ever said yes to. And that scarred me for life. What happened? He was a cracking bloke, Jared. But he was in all sorts of trouble with the taxman and he died whilst faking his own death. It's the worst way to go, Pam. Look, I don't care about all this. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Maybe you both need to be on your own. You, you need to talk. What about? What am I meant to say? Look, I'm having this, baby. I am. I'm keeping it. But I don't want you involved. I don't even want you seeing it. No, no way. If I'm having a baby, I'm having a baby. And no one is going to stop me from seeing my boy. I'll dress up as Batman and tie myself to the London Eye with the rest of them if I have to. Whatever it takes. Because if I'm going to be a dad, I'm going to be a proper dad. Because you're going to need me. You're going to be huge. I mean, colossal. You are, Ness. You're going to be massive. Right? And I'm petrified. And I'll make mistakes. But we'll get there. One step at a time. And I tell you, it's going to be a hell of a journey. Isn't that right, Mick? That's right. Cheers, Brynn.